Hey guys, some of you asked me to do an updated um, product review, what I'm using, what I am loving, liking, and actually I even have one product that I'm not really loving at all. Um, so I decided to do this. I am, I've gotten some of your emails and I am working on um, two or three more videos for you guys that I'm going to try to get done in the next week or two. So let's get started. First, some of these you've seen, I just really love them and I'm still using them, um, but I also didn't want to overwhelm you with amounts of products, so I tried to limit it. I think I have like maybe six, seven products right here. Okay, so one is number one, the Clarisonic. We all know that it's amazing. We love it. Um, I cannot live without it. I use it twice a day. I feel like it makes a huge difference. Um, I've noticed that my makeup's going on a lot better, um, and I love it. So, number one, I don't feel like this needs much, much explanation. Okay, number two is the Urban Decay, and I mentioned this a while back. Um, for those of you that have been following me for a long time, um, I love this. This is the All Nighter. Um, I bought this twice, and this one's about empty. Now I'm going to have to go buy it again. Um, so, it'll make three times. And um, I actually think their packaging might be different this time. So, if it doesn't look just like this in the store, um, it's probably the same thing. I have the, it's the All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray Long Lasting. And um, I just missed this on my face. And it's fantastic for the Florida heat that I am living in. But um, even for nights out with your girlfriends, um, dinner, anything that you want your makeup to stay in place and stay protected, this is great. Um, keep in mind this is for like your face makeup. This, um, I mean, I close my eyes and I spray it on my lids. I'm not really sure that it's necessarily made for that. Um, but I, I do spray this before I put on my eyeliner and my mascara because I don't want to get those wet. Um, I don't want them to clump or smear or anything. So, um, yeah, put this on before your serious stuff. Okay, next is, um, I'm embarrassed to show you this packaging because it's wearing off and this is the Egyptian magic and I actually um, found this in several magazines um, I think it was like glamour and people style watch um, maybe Marie Claire I have a lot of magazines at the house but I've seen it in several that all these celebrities were using it and so I was like you know I really 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 want to see what all the hypes about um, and it's literally like it kind of looks like Vaseline beeswax and um but it has all these natural ingredients in it it makes my legs super shiny so it's like awesome to put on my legs um before i wear shorts or a skirt because it like makes your legs look a lot more toned um and i also put on my hands at night before i go to sleep and i feel like this would be really great for like your heels and stuff in the winter whenever your skin gets dry um but I love this one a lot, a lot, a lot. Um, okay, now one that I'm not obsessed with, and I'm really sad that I'm not obsessed with it. Um, I really, okay, it's the, before I start talking, the Lash Domination. Um, and it's made by Bare Minerals. And I really love the brush. Um, it's like this little spiral. I love that it's like, I, I don't like the um, bristly, hair bristly brushes. Um, I like the rubbery ones, so I love the brush. Um, I feel like it's really easy to apply. It's really thin. You know, when I first get it on, I'm obsessed and I love it. But then it literally like melts under my eye right here. And I actually have it on today, but I'll tell you the trick I found. Um, it gets under my eye right here, and it actually, when I've been really hot and sweaty, which is so embarrassing to say, it's made like black above, like right under my brow. Um, so it was like like fan marks kind of I don't know it was really embarrassing so I'm not okay with that I don't want to have to check my makeup during the day um, once I'm done I'm done so this I like everything except for the way that it wears which is really important so I have found a way because I didn't want to just throw it out I just bought it like three weeks ago two weeks ago and um, I just put waterproof over it. So I actually use the Ico waterproof mascara on top of this to set it in place. And then I haven't had any issues once I do that. I don't prefer to use a mascara that I have to do something like that with. 
Um, I will not buy this again, but I will finish up this tube. Um, these are two of the same products I decided to try, um, and I might butcher this, the Restorse, Restorse? I'm not even going to try. Um, but I really do love this. So um, I've tried three other products, and these are the two that I'm obsessed with. The third one, it's not that I dislike it. I just, it's just fine. Um, and it was their, um, like, overnight hand cream, hair, hand therapy. But this one is their um, face wash. And I love that it's really bubbly. Um, and I feel like it's really good like, to use my Clarisonic. I feel like I get, like, a really good, clean feeling. Um, I like to use, when I use my Clarisonic, I do not want to use anything with um, any exfoliant in it that I can feel. So this is just, it's real thin. Um, and it is sulfate-free. So that's um, awesome, too. Um, but I have really liked it. I like the way it smells. It smells super clean. Um, I haven't had any breakouts or anything from it, so it seems to be really gentle. And I really do love this one. Um, and I can definitely see myself purchasing this one again. The only thing about this one is it's really hard to find. You can get it on um, one department store. I have to look and see which one it was. Um, and then their eye cream. I really like this eye cream. It smells really good. I can't, it's like eye cream is like one of those things that you're not going to get um, instant gratification from. I don't feel like if anyone knows of one that you get instant gratification from, please let me know. Um, but I really do like this one. Um, and it's one of those things where I'll notice in 30 years that I used it. Uh, not so much today. But I like the way it feels. I like that it's not too thick, um, but it's thick enough to where I can really feel like I'm like getting it on there. Then um, these are like my lifesaver, um, and I know that they're just chapstick, but I'm seriously obsessed with them. I wear them all day. I have literally, I think I have one in every bathroom in my house to just like throw on whenever I get a chance. Um, I am obsessed with these, and I feel like they really work a lot better than like chapsticks and stuff. They don't make your lips dry after that. I don't know if this is true. That lip or chapsticks they have something in them that actually in the long run dry your lips out so that you continue to put on more so that you continue to buy more and I don't know if that's true but I feel like this is not one of those because even when I'm not using it I don't feel like my lips are dry so I love the EUS's and then Faux 4 and I have mentioned this to you several times I have done this in a tutorial I have put it on my Instagram I love 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 the texture takeover so, I left my hair really dirty for you guys. Um, this is day three, so bear with me. Um, but I use this each of those days, and um, it just gives me volume, texture, and it just kind of like gets rid of any oil, and it just kind of gives me like beachy waves. Um, I curled my hair the first day after I washed it. I haven't curled it since. You can tell what side I sleep on. This side's way flatter than this side. This side still has some curl left. Um, so this, basically what I do is I kind of just take my hair and section it off, I ignore my roots, I need to do my retouch, and spray. And so that's going to break up the roots so they don't look dirty. My front needs a little... And then, you're literally just going to kind of take it all over, and then just like mist and scrunch. And literally, that is all I do until I get the look that I want. And then I do the same thing for this side. Just get it in there. So, and then it just keeps my hair from looking flat, looking greasy, and so that I can go many more days without washing my hair. No, I typically, I don't go more than like four. If it's like a really busy week, maybe five. <laughs> but no more than that. Um, but I hope that this helped. I hope that, um, you know, I was, I tried to be super honest with you guys about stuff that I loved and didn't love. And I'm really sad that I had to tell you guys that. But I don't want you all to have to go through the same thing. So I hope you enjoyed. Do not forget to subscribe. And please like this video. Um, I will leave all the links below and I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.